Shit, I'm going insane. Got to put my veins, I'm back to my ways. I heard they mention my name. The music, the blame, won't leave it in vain. She said she digging my way. If I told her, be hey, she can't even hang. I'ma keep riding this game. She thinking the same. We changing these lanes, yeah. Changing these lanes, yeah. Going through fame. What's going on, man? It's your girl, Tampa Mystic, and we are live on the Industry's Most Wanted Podcast. I'm making all my guests do this with me now. You ready? When I say Industry's Most Wanted, we got to say podcast together. Industry's Most Wanted Podcast. That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, shout out to Leon checking in. You know what I'm saying? Um, I appreciate you. You got a good vibe. This ain't our first time doing this. Mm -hmm. I appreciate. Shout out to Gambino. Gambino the GOAT. That's my dog, man. As soon as he hit me and mentioned your name, I said, let's set it up. ASAPington. You know what I'm saying? Introduce yourself. Artist name, Leon. Uh, Call me Leon. But that's what he goes by, just so y'all know, artist name Leon. For sure, for sure. <laughs> um, from Valdosta. From Valdosta. I live in Atlanta now. Uh, yeah, man, just out here catching vibes, meeting people, connecting, just building this music up, man. Just taking it far further than I thought I could take it. So, you know, just keeping grinding. You know? Man, that's what's up, bro. Like, you've been consistent. Um, it's been a little minute since you and I came together and, and did an interview, so... Um, I'm glad that we were able to bring it back together. You got new music out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm still rocking with the other music, but you know, I I'm glad it. that yeah, for sure. <laughs> Most definitely. Um, let's let's take it back and let people understand your journey a little bit, you know, for the ones that may are just getting in tune with what, you know, Leon has going on, man. Um, tell us about growing up in Valdosta. Valdosta is relatively small, smaller than Atlanta for sure. Yeah. It's a great city, though. It's a great city, man. It's, it's stuff to do out there. Yeah. It's, um, my whole entire family is from the whole South Georgia, Thomasville, Quitman, uh, but also for sure. Man, it's like the whole South 229. It's like, yeah. Shout out to the whole 229 for sure. Yeah. No, nah, that's dope. I got a lot of respect for the city. Um, shout out to my dog, DJ Chill Wheel, out there. Um, he's brought me out there a few times to host some events. I, in fact, I did one of my birthday bashes in Valdosta probably like three years ago, right? The year before the pandemic, maybe 2019, right. I did my birthday bash out there. Um, so much talent. The times that I went out there, we had artists come through and perform. And I'm like, there's just a lot of underdogs out there. You know what I'm saying? Just right. waiting to get heard because mm-hmm. they got that talent. But I think Valdosta is just not quite there yet with putting artists in positions like Atlanta is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what I would like to do is just, I definitely want to get back in my city. Of course. So like, just like you said, like that, those outlets aren't down there. So I definitely want to like do what I can to like make that happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, I know it's definitely like a lot of artists out there. It's definitely, uh, I went back home not too long ago and, uh, one of my little cousins, he's, just, he's 17. And, um, I ain't, I ain't talked to him since he was about maybe five, six. Oh, wow. It's been a minute. <laughs> but um, just talking to him, man, just, like, seeing where his head is at and seeing where he's been, you know, seven, like I said, 17. He's already, like, been caught up in the system. So mm. it's, like, I'm trying to do what I can to, like, kind of motivate him to yeah. see that he don't have to go down that same road. You know Please, I mean? it's so yes. It's so easy to get caught up down there, man. Yeah. It's such a small town. Everybody, everybody know everybody, so... You know, trying to, like, shed a little light on him and help him out and, you know, trying to see what he want to do in life. You know what I mean? If he want to do the music, try to get him up here in Atlanta, put him in the studio and work with him. You know what I mean? If he want to do something else, encourage him to do that, too. But I just just want to start there with my own family first and kind of, like, build out and help other artists and other people grow. So Yeah, man, because there's way, way too many young men out here, young black men that are getting caught up Mm. In bad situations, they're a good person getting caught up in a bad situation. Right. And, you know, it just hurts. I'm a mother. I have My son is black. He's biracial, but he's black. Right. And, you know, it hurts me to see a lot of these young men getting caught up in a bad situation. Um, when they're, 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 they got a good heart, they just may be around the wrong people. That's what it is, mostly. Yeah. And... People, when they're young, they're impressionable. Mm -hmm. We all are. We all mess up. We all make mistakes. We all do dumb stuff. We learn from it. But when you're young, you're impressionable. And if you don't have anybody that's older than you 
guiding you or putting you in the right direction, all they know is to be in the streets. Yeah. You know? Especially uh, young black men with our fathers, man. Right. Uh, like, I knew my dad growing up, but he wasn't there. Yeah. Me and my mom, my sister's in the house. So I looked up to my uncles. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, one of my uncles passed. And uh, to me, he was that father figure, that role model that I wanted, you know, that, that I didn't have. Not to say he was the greatest, because he was in the streets too. Yeah. He did his own thing, but I took so much from him, like, learning how to stand on my own as a man and, you know, how to move in the streets and out the streets. Yeah. how to, like, take care of myself and, you know, I just, you know, I, I, I want to be that now to my little cousins. You yeah. Know what I mean? You have to be that positive role model because we're seeing so much of it, especially in this music business. Like, man, it hurts my heart when I see some of these artists, they get to, like, the peak of their career or they're really on the rise and they end up having to go sit down for something they did. Maybe not even, like, recently. It may have been something five, six, seven years ago, but yeah. it's coming back to haunt them, per se. Right. And, um, you know... I understand, you know, if you do something wrong, you know, they say you do the crime, you got to do the time. But at the same time, I would hope that us seeing it happen over and over again, we need to learn from that. Yeah. You know, learn from other people's mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Again, we're not perfect. Um, what, What I really learned in business, I remember my last job that I had before I started doing this full time there was an older guy that worked there. And I remember him saying, um, talking about the company I worked for being more reactive rather than proactive. And when he really elaborated on that, it resonated and it hit me. And I was like, we have to learn to be more proactive in life. Like when you get ready to make a move, you got to think about how is this going to affect me and everybody around me? Cause if you do something, you end up getting locked up or, or worse how is it going to affect your family? Right. Mm-hmm. People don't take the time to think about that kind of stuff. You got kids? I don't know. You want kids? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, you know, and, and that's the thing. Like, you know, even if you don't have kids, you got people that care about you that are yeah. counting on you. Mm-hmm. It's bigger than you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, with that being said, you know, what made you decide to come from Valdosta to Atlanta? Was it for the music business? Yeah. Uh, I first moved to um, out to Seattle first. Nuh-uh. Yeah, we did. talked about that, I think. How it rains out there all the time, oh, did yeah, we? Yeah, we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to Seattle first. <laughs> um, I, listen, let's just pause there for a quick second. I know it's so beautiful out there. I've never been there. I know it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I, I didn't really get to experience the outdoor part so much. I was re- I was in the city. But um, the trees are beautiful. Man. Even when it's, like, rainy and, uh, like, you know, overcast, it's still, like. Amazing. It's something, like, ma- I don't want to like, say no, magical. No, but, it's like, no, so, like, it is. Like, I, I'm i a big, I, I'm a nature junkie. I know mm-hmm. y'all, if y'all watch my Instagram, I be hiking and all that. Because I like, to me, that's, those are gifts that God gave us. Right, yeah. We got to get out there and enjoy them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's how I get my little exercise that I decided to get in. You know what I'm saying? You dig. But, um, you know, talk to us about being out there, though. What was it like for you? Uh, it was cool, man. It was I was young, just trying to find myself. Uh, what took you out there? A uh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, if you was young, it had to be a female. Yeah. It was, it was a, of course, I wanted to be with her, but it was also an opportunity for me to get out of that Austin. Right. Know? Understood. But, um, yeah, the city was cool. You know what I mean? I stayed low key, just working jobs and uh, making money. Uh, I started actually recording in Seattle, but. I wasn't taking, I, I wasn't an artist named Leon yet. I was yeah. just recording just to, because I wanted to record and kind of, you know, perfect the craft. But it wasn't until I got to New York to where I started um, taking it more serious. Um, you was living I, in New York? Yeah, yeah. I was in New York for five years before I came. What? Yeah. Okay. So you you went from Valdosta mm-hmm. to Seattle. To New York. To New York. To Atlanta. To L.A. Yeah. To L.A.? <laughs> Bro. Yeah. No, nah, that's dope, though. It's, I think it's really dope because now you've experienced 
different cultures. You yeah. were on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. You was up top. Mm -hmm. You've been down south. Mm -hmm. You probably traveled some places in between. Mm -hmm. To me, that as an artist, I think it's important that you get out there and see different cultures and different vibes because right. it really can structure you to who you really want to be in this music business. Yeah. I, I think it translates to my music too, because you, you hear me. I don't really sound like you from any one place. Yeah, you know. But what I, was I New York like, like for you living out there? <sighs> what part of New York? I was uh, uptown in Dykeman. Okay, y'all from New York, y'all know about Dykeman. Y'all know what's up <laughs> out there. I know how they give it up. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, man, it was good. It was it was a it was a lot of good times. A lot of not so good times. Yeah. But, I don't regret anything I did in life. It's all it all made for wonderful stories and experience. So I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it. You know? How long ago was it that you lived in New York? Uh, I left New York in 2019. Okay, yeah. so fairly recently. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> During your time living there, were you pursuing music heavily? Yeah, that's when I really that's when I became artist named Leon. Uh, I don't know if I told the story last time, but I was in the studio um, recording. This was before I. I wasn't, I didn't know about, I knew about auto-tune, but I didn't use auto-tune yet. Right. So, um, the, uh, the engineer said, hey, you know, I think it'll sound good if you, you know, try this out. And I was like, all right, tried it out. And I just started like playing around with it. And then I heard like, you know, you know, the auto-correct comes in. Yeah. The pitch shift or whatever. I was like, man, that sounds good. Like, yeah, so facts. I, so I started messing around with it more. <laughs> I let people hear it. You know, it was like, yo, this is you. You do this. Yes, you know. Absolutely. I'm a big, you know, I, me personally, I'm a fan of autotune, not when it's overly used, yeah, yeah. but I'm a big fan of it. Um, there's some people out there who despise it. I don't know why. Right. It's a vibe, man. It's, 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 it's all about the artist. It's all about what they doing with it, but it's like an instrument. You got to learn to perfect it. Absolutely. I listen, that's a, that's, I talk about that too. I, I heard in an interview that Prince did forever ago, talking about your voice as an instrument. Right. You got to utilize it as such. You know, you got to put out different tones, different mm -hmm. sounds. You can think about how many sounds we can make with our voice. Right. A ton, like a whole lot. We can sound like anything we want to. It's no different than when you're putting your music together. You mm -hmm. want to switch them flows up and right. deliver your music different ways. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your creative process. I always like talking about this part because every artist is different. You right. might have some similarities, but they're different. Mm -hmm. um, if you were... Gonna go ahead and get in the studio tonight. Would you already have your music written? Would you do it when you get there? How does your music come together? Uh, I do both. Yeah, really. depending on your vibe. Depending on the vibe, like I'll have something already in the tuck, but then if I hear something at the studio I like, then I'm like, oh, you need to. It ain't enough for me to like get in there and try to freestyle something to it. Yeah. Or uh, I'm a better writer though, like. I can freestyle, I can do the punch in, but it's just something about writing for me. It's more therapeutic. Yeah. I like to tell stories. Understood. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Everybody's a little different. You mm -hmm. know, some artists just love to get in there and freestyle and punch in. Others mm -hmm. like to write, and that's cool. You know, like, you have to do what works for you. Right. And if you catch more of a vibe by you actually writing, so do you at your house, do you have a creative space at your house? I do. Uh I'm in the process of moving, like I, I, I told you. Yeah. Uh, but for the most part, the the acoustics yes. in my place isn't that I'm at now isn't that great. So I, I, when I ever I go back home to my mom's, for some reason her kitchen is like the acoustics are. <laughs> <laughs> Mom Duke's kitchen. Where, so I'm at the kitchen table. Y'all really cooking up for yeah, real? Yeah. <laughs> really, they they ain't even think about it, but yeah. <laughs> but uh, and I think it's something about me being back home. I'm more comfortable of like course I'm touching my roots yeah but um i know once we get in this new place uh the acoustics in there are better so you know i'm gonna be recording more at home but yeah. I, also, I still go to the studio too but yeah. yeah no absolutely i think it's important that you know as an artist you have to have that option of being able to work from the house if you need to because mm -hmm. there might be days where you just don't want to go to the studio you want to wake up and go create right yeah that's, how, know, that's how i mostly be like i'll wake up and now I want to get straight to recording. Right. By the time of the studio, you got to book it ahead of time. You know, so. Listen, I know my boyfriend, we got a, 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 he has a studio at the house and he gets up early and he'll be down there before I wake up. Music going. I'm like, dang. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Waking the whole house up. <laughs> but I think that's important that you got to have that, um, you know, you got to have that space inside your crib. So what are you working on right now? I know you got a new record. 
Um, you know, what is, and we're going to talk about that, but besides that song, what are some of the other things that you're doing and working on the campaign yourself? Um, I'm really just trying to like get out of my comfort zone and just, uh, put myself out there more. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely working on more of that than anything. Uh, like I said, I'm out here. I feel like a lot of times, uh, Artists nowadays, you get so caught up in everything got to be online, which is, of course, man, ain't not. I'm doing everything I got to do online, you know. But you got to do this stuff too. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm also out here. I'm touching touching the streets. I'm touching people for real, for real. Yeah. That's why it's the, you know what I mean. Especially with the team I got, it's only but so big. You yeah. Know what I mean, so I feel like I'm the front man. So I got to be out here. I got to show face. I got to be the one who has to tell you, yo, this is coming. This is what we doing. You know, so that's what I'm out here doing right now. Just you know in the face of the, of the brand doing this type of stuff whether it's you know interviews or going to networking events hitting them stages in my humble opinion as an artist will provide you more longevity in the business right. than just being that artist that only posts on instagram and back in the day they used to call them soundcloud artists because yeah. that's all they ever did you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah we're definitely trying to not do that <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, there's every day there's somebody new that's trending on social media. Right. So day. it's really tough to keep up with that. Like, right. I'm just now really getting in tune with TikTok. I'm late getting on board with that. But what's crazy to me is I go on TikTok and there's people on there that are just average, everyday people with millions of followers right. because... They have a little neck for something that they post on there. And I'm like, dang, I'm late on here, which is cool because if that's what they want, but I want, I want like, I want that real deal in person. Like, you know what I'm saying? Me too. Yeah. yeah. I like building relationships and actually meeting people and shaking hands and kissing babies right. as you will. Get that, get the vibe, the energy off of people. Cause the a lot of energy. Time that, that energy don't match how you see it online. You see them in person. So I like, I'm, I'm, I'm more like face to face. But. Yeah. I do take advantage of the online stuff. Nah, for real. We got to do that. You know what I'm saying? And and the thing about social media, too, is we can be very creative with it. There's so many different ways to not only promote yourself, but make money, too. We can monetize mm-hmm. our, our social media now, which is beautiful. Right. You know, Instagram, YouTube, um, TikTok, all them, Twitch. You can monetize all that and make money off of it. Right. You know, that's what I'm all about. That's the goal. You know what I'm saying? We want to be getting paid in like from 80 different places at the right. same time more, but you know, we'll, we'll take 80. <laughs> <laughs> um, who are some of the producers that you've been working with? Let's shout them out. Oh man, man, still shout out my boy Guavo. You know what I mean? I've been working with him since day one. So I started recording this artist named Leon. Um, he in New York? Nah, Guavo's in, I think he's in Sweden. That's now yeah. that I I love that. I love yeah. when you collab with producers overseas. Yeah. <laughs> we just got an, an infectious vibe. It's undeniably. That's so dope. You know, I, but yeah, he's going to get his shine too. But um, I just started working with this new producer, um, Imperial. He's got a nice bounce to him. You know, I love the bounce. Yeah. You know I mean? Where he from? Imperial, I'm not sure. Okay. You met him through social media? Met him through social media. So. Cool guy. Um you know what I mean? Um, his 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 beats are definitely a vibe. Like I said, they got that bounce, they got the melody to it. So I just try to always find my you know living between the space just to make it sound you know, give it that artist name Leon feel. But yeah, yeah, we got we working. We got a lot of stuff coming. So shout out to Gambino. Shout out Gambino. We gotta always chime him in. Um, I just I have so much respect for that dude. I, I was hoping he would have been here tonight. Gambino, where you at? <laughs> That's my dog, man. Like, when I came to Atlanta, he was one of the first people that I met. And he just was showing me so much love at my events and stuff. And and vice versa, when he was doing some showcases, I was going out there and taking some artists to perform. And he's such a genuine, good dude, man. How did you guys connect? Uh, Through Reef. My boy Reef. You know, we did the above and beyond. Uh, they uh, They were close. It was like, you know, I really think, you know, can be a good asset to your team yeah you know uh from the first time we talked and we met it was just like a natural uh connection a natural vibe and like you said he's like genuine with yeah. it you know what i mean like he's there to support me when i'm like it'll be days when i'm like you know, i don't really want to go out i don't really want to go to the <laughs> studio he's like now nah, we need to do this we need to get out here and make these moves so i'm like 
I need that, you know. Nah, what I mean? for so real. I definitely appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Like, I, I can definitely self-motivate, and I'm sure you can as well. Mm-hmm. But sometimes we just need that extra push from exactly. someone else yeah. to remind us, like, come on now, you got to get to it. Right. You know, opportunities don't be knocking at your door. You got to go out there and create those opportunities. Exactly. Um, when people hear your music for the first time, what do you want them to get from it? How do you want them to feel when they listen to your music? It, 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 took, it took me a while to figure out, like, what's my bag, what's my sound. I think the only way I can really nail it down is just, it's just sexy music. I, I know like that's I, right. I feel like I just cre- create sexy vibes. And, you know, even talking to my lady, she was just like, she told me, she told me this. <laughs> <laughs> so Gotta like, listen to the ladies. You, <laughs> you, she told me this. She was <laughs> like, uh, the girl's got to want to sleep with you. The dude's got to want to be you. That's what she, that was like her. Wow. Shout out to her. That's a dope statement because it's that's just what it is. Right. And she told me, uh, you know what I mean? You got to get the women on your side because if you got women listening to you, the dudes are going to listen to you because the women are listening facts. to you. Facts. That's the truth. Big and, 100 facts. And really, it's mainly just me being myself when I'm uh, making music, me going through my own experiences. Like, I was definitely like the relationship dude. You know what I mean? In a relationship, out of a relationship. Yeah. Or I was that guy. So was, <laughs> <laughs> that's why when you brought up New York, <laughs> Dykeman was going crazy up there, yo. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I just be trying to like, you know, cater to that. Remember what she said and, you know, put that she, in every single music, that, the music that I make. She definitely told you the right statement because that's true. Because really at the end of the day i think women are going to probably be the biggest consumers of your music Mm -hmm. um but of course the fellas are too so it's like if you make the women happy and you play a song that the women are going to want to dance to vibe to turn up to the men gonna love it right you know what i'm saying so you're definitely on the right path um have you put any new visuals out lately um not lately i think the last thing we did was the video for dangerous okay um I think we're going to be working on some videos soon for sure, whether they be uh, animated. I like animation. I do, too. You know what I mean? I'm a That's big, dope. big family guy fan. Rick and Morty. <laughs> uh, my nephews got me on, um, what's the One Piece, the Japanese anime. Uh, but, yeah, I, you know, um, so it might be an animated video. Um, still working around with the idea, but we got some big, we got some things coming. That's dope, man. Have, do you ever, let me ask you this little quick little sidebar. You ever shopped on Fiverr before? The website called Fiverr? I, know, yeah, I don't think so, though. I know what you're talking about, though, the Fiverr. Yeah. Ch- listen, let me tell you, because um, we got, well, not we. I, I always say we, my significant other. He had an animated video done, and he got it done on Fiverr for a really good price. And it came out so fire. Like, Fiverr's that place, because they be having designers on there from mm-hmm. like Sri Lanka and overseas that they do work for like next to nothing. Well, yeah. Check out on there. I mean, I don't I'll know if look you, it up. yeah, if you got somebody maybe that does it cause them animated videos are expensive cause they can be. They can be. Yeah. So, you know, check out Fiverr. You might find someone on there that could do it for like a good rate, but going to still give you a quality video. For sure. Appreciate it. Yeah. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, I, I'd be all about trying to find not necessarily the best price, but a better price when you can. You know for what I'm sure. saying? For sure. <laughs> um, what can we expect from you for the rest of this year? What do you got up your sleeve? Man, I'm, like I said, man, I'm sitting on so much music. It's hard to just, we're trying to, you know, be disciplined about what we're doing as far as, like, uh, the songs we're putting out. Um, I just like to record, man. I like to, like to just make music. Yeah. I always want to hear, like, what's next, what's new. You know, I'll ride to it for a little bit, and I'll be over it, and I'm moving on to the next thing. So it's, it's hard for me to, like, stay focused on, like, one song. Like, even in vain, um, I recorded this song. Um, me and my lady, we did a trip over in Europe. We did um, Spain. And nice. Did, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I think we, we finished in Paris, and I think that's when I recorded in vain. I think on our last day there, it was crazy. That's I, I, I dope. was recording the whole time there, but but the, in vain with the last song I recorded, and from the moment I heard it, I was like, "Yo, this is a vibe." Let the lady hear it. You're like, "This is a vibe." Let Gambino hear it. This That's a vibe. A vibe. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> that lets you know yeah. it's a vibe. But you know what though? Um, I'm a believer that we are in a digital era where you have to consistently put music out. Yeah. You know, like right now for the artists that love to constantly record new music. 
this is your time to shine because we are in an era where it's okay to release music every three to four weeks. Right. Really, because with studying the analytics and stuff on Spotify, when you release a song as an independent artist, mm -hmm. the height of it is going to be about the first three to four weeks. And then you're going to start to see your numbers declining a little bit. That's yeah. just That's how it is. Boom, that's when you put your next song out. Mm -hmm. So you can keep that height up there. Right. Not to say you got to stop pushing the song prior, but we are in an era where you got to constantly be putting music out to stay in the algorithms right. to organically land on some of these Spotify playlists. Mm -hmm. So if you like to create, this is your time to shine. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, we definitely uh, we definitely uh, planning it out. Um, like I said, we got, a, we got a lot. We're just trying to like be strategic about it. But yeah, we're going to take advantage for sure. That's what's up, man. Um, is there a visual for the you said for in vain? Uh, yeah, we like I said, we're working on um, putting we, it together. Yeah, now. we're trying to decide whether we want to do the animator route or you know. Oh, that's the route. one that you want to do the animated yeah, yeah, one yeah. for. Got you. Understood. So, um, who produced that particular record? Uh, Imperial. He, oh, Imperial did. Mm -hmm. He's the one that you was. You're not sure where he's from, but y'all connected on yeah. on social media. Yeah. I'm going to find out, bro. I'm going to hit you up and see you know. <laughs> Build in relationships. So for the people that's been hearing this record, what type of feedback have you been getting? Um, sexy. Is that sexy vibe? That's been that's what everybody's been, uh, you know, with a sexy vibe. They're telling me to own it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm owning it, you know. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Well, definitely, um, we are supporting it at Industries Most Wanted. I'm going to be supporting it as I've been doing with your other music on 99.1 FM. Definitely want to show you some love on that aspect. Um, I appreciate you coming through again, man. Like, we got to do this again at least one more time this year. Yeah, we're we going to cook something up. I don't know if you know about uh, the, uh, the pop-up playlist party on 26, Gambino Throwing. I don't think so. I got to look. Is it posted on his page? I don't know if he posted it. I know he just told me about it today. Okay, so yeah, because I haven't, I have, he hasn't said nothing about it. So on the 26th? 26th, yeah. So Where's that at? Where's it going to be at? You don't know yet? Uh, not sure yet, but you know, we're going to post a flyer for sure. Got you. Understood. But yeah. Uh, we got to be, be in there. the building. A lot of artists going to be out there. So, you know, if y'all listening, y'all going to come through, pop up, show the artists some love, show me some love, you know, all my people out there, you know, come through. Facts. And, you know, Gambino always puts good events together. Like yeah. every event that I've been to of his um, has always been well structured. Yeah. It ran smooth. Mm -hmm. You know, he even be finding some dope spots. We had went to one spot. It was in a building, kind of like almost like a warehouse type setting. And it was so dope that we actually wanted to go back there and shoot a music video. But we could never find who we needed to right. plug into, but yeah. like, I'm like, he be finding the spots. <laughs> nah, for sure. That's why I'd be always like, yo, what, we, what can we do? You know? Nah, always, for you know, real. Most always got always to connect. Tell people that are tuned in, if they're fans or supporters, what's one thing about artists named Leon that they don't know that you don't mind sharing? Uh, I'm shy. <laughs> you know, don't let this personality on the video fool you. I'm really shy. I'm really introverted. Like you mentioned earlier. Yeah. Uh, even with the glasses on right now, uh, it's more of an anxiety thing. Uh, helps me, helps me control it. Help me, make me feel like I'm hiding, but I'm not hiding. Understood. So but yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I, bet, I guess that'd be one thing people don't know about me. So that you know what though, like I think there's a lot of people because I'm I'm definitely like that too. I and I don't mind speaking on it. Like whenever I gotta go do big events and stuff, mm -hmm. I always have anxiety. I get anxiety being around a bunch of people I don't know. Not that I'm, sure. like, nervous. I'm just, like, I don't know. I just get, catch like a little a, bit of anxiety. Like overwhelming feeling. It is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It makes it hard to focus. Like, people be asking me questions. I'm, like, thinking about something else. <laughs> nah, like. for real. And then I go back. I'm, like, dang, what, why did I say that? Exactly. I, shouldn't, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I be beating myself <laughs> up. And one of the most anxious things that I get is driving, like, I hate, I hate, because people drive like maniacs. They do, man. Bro, like. like Y'all take it easy out there, I man. Y'all be safe, because <laughs> it's wild out there. I, I really, whenever I got to do stuff, I plan it around traffic times, honestly. Like, I don't I don't like to go out, like, between 5 and 7, because that's people getting off work. Yeah. Because <laughs> I be, like, slick introverted, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. trust me, I get it. And it's so funny, because at the beginning of the pandemic, I was so opposed to wanting to wear a mask, right? Mm -hmm. Once I started wearing it, I was like, yo, I like this because I feel like I'm, like you said, with your shades, I'm kind of concealing myself. I yeah. feel a little bit more protected, per se. Right. I, 
and it helps <laughs> me be more myself. I don't know why. No, nah, for it's real. Like that though, it makes me feel not so. You know, I under- uh, it's weird, but I it, it works no, out. I totally understand because I'm with you, bro. Like when I'm out, I always wear shades. I'm all the time. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I totally get it. So. I'm you and I are like the same when it comes to that. Most definitely. Um, so you know. Shout out to everybody that's, uh, you know, supporting the movement. Before we get up out of here, three things we got to do. One, tell them where they can follow you and keep up with you on your social platforms. Uh, IG, Twitter, uh, at artist name Leon. Set me up. And the song uh, is out on the digital platforms already? Yeah, the song uh, In Vain, produced by my boy Imperial, is out now. Uh, all platforms. Make sure y'all go stream that heavy. It's going up, up, crazy. Yes, most definitely. You guys caught it in the intro of this, so make sure you guys definitely go support that, download it, share it, stream it, have your baby mama stream it, Word. all that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, anybody you want to show some love and shout out to? Uh, yeah, man. Shout out the whole 229, you know. Shout out my little cousin, Fat, bro. You know what I mean? Hold <laughs> your head, cuz. Uh, rest in peace to my Uncle Tim. You know what I mean? I'm still standing down here, staying strong for you and standing strong for myself and the family. Yeah. Uh, shout out my boy Gambino. Uh, Gambino? Yeah. Meet the underdogs. The underdogs, yeah. We going Gambino up, is the GOAT. <laughs> underdogs going to be the upper dogs. <laughs> nah, for real. <laughs> anybody else? That it for now? Uh, if I forget anybody, man, it's just because my mind is... Listen, I already know. Right Charge it to the game, not to his heart. All the fans, all the people who support me and show love, I love y'all. It's up. up. Man, last but not least, and this is always the most important question of the whole conversation, we got my homie Leon, artist named Leon, checking in. Shout out to the 229. Um, I got to know, man, what makes you the industry's most wanted? Sexy. (laughs) (laughs) Too sexy. I'm too sexy for my shades. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> hey i i love it you know what i'm saying it. <laughs> give me some love transfer that good energy you feel that yeah, feel it. it's all about energy and positive vibes boom this ain't our first time doing this is most certainly not going to be our last time i really i really rock with you because you got good energy good vibes you got a good head on your shoulders you. all that stuff matters as we know there's too many you know, young black men and a lot of these artists getting caught up in bad situations, man. Like, you know, and I I pray for all of them that they can see their way through it because, you know, it's just, it's sad. And keep your head up, bro. Like, keep pushing. Keep doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? We need you out here. Yeah. You dig? I'm going to stay out here, man. I ain't going nowhere. (laughs) Big facts, man. We up out of here, y'all. Peace.